This is a tutorial on cookie modification. So first off, a little understanding about what cookies are. So cookies are data that is stored on your computer that can be used for such things as authentication, like we see with this page here, how we do not have the correct permissions. Um, they can be used for preferences, identifications, and just various a various number of things. So for this, uh, we will be using the Firefox add-on called Firebug. Now, when we open Firebug, we see the cookie set for this page. And we notice that the available cookie is authorized, which we can generally guess it goes along with this page, considering it's talking about permissions. And its value is set to no, meaning we do not have permission. So just general instinct would be to, um, to change, that, change the value of that cookie and see what happens. So we'll change that from no to yes refresh the page and now we have access to it so but generally you won't you won't see uh, things set up generally as simple as this with the cookie name of authorized and the values of yes and no sometimes they can be value of one equals yes or the admin can just throw in some cra th crazy combination of uh, letters and numbers if they want to really mess with you um, a real world example of something like this is the MyBB form software. Uh, you have a certain amount of login attempts before it um, locks you out, basically. It says you gotta wait 30 minutes to try and log in. But if you open up something like Firebug uh, on that form, so on the form, you uh, will see you can plainly edit the amount of login attempts that you have left. So even if you get locked out, you can just change it so that you can continue conti and continue to log in without having to uh, deal with that shit. Okay, so here's a little live demo. You see here we have just a regular IBB form software. And admin of this form, no malicious intent here, just explaining. Um, this is a, not really an exploit, but this is a somewhat of a vulnerability that you'll find in all the versions of my B. It's a vulnerability because if you tie this in with, uh, if you tie cookie modification in with a brute forcing attack, it can, it can end pretty badly if you have weak passwords. So you see how we have four more login attempts left? Um, and then log in, you got three, two, one, then we open up Firebug and you see it's at five login attempts, one more left, and now we're locked out. So you see the amount of login attempts. This site allows a maximum of six before it locks you out. So basically you're just convincing the site that you haven't logged in yet by changing the amount of login attempts that it says you've had from six to zero. Then when you refresh the page, Submit another login form. There you go. Now you can bypass the uh, the lockout. 